Good afternoon. Today's subject on Flies with George, Dean River, British Columbia. Now I go to the Dean every year and uh, come July I'll be up at BC West, Andrew Bennett's uh, latest adventure in Worldwide Angley. And we'll be on the lower river part of the time. We'll also be on the upper river part of the time. And there's a falls that separate those two portions of the watershed. But there's some interesting ideas that go along with flies as well within that idea. Below the falls, lower river, the very lower dean, fish are generally coming in on a given tide. They're coming in there and they could be in that lower river for three hours, maybe three days. But they're they're coming in, they're aggressive, they're, they're just in and they've certainly got their oats about them and intruder type patterns, specifically in pink, any fly as long as it's pink, is going to be great. This is a signature series intruder from Solitude, tied by Scott Howell, a longtime steelhead guide from Medford, Oregon. And this one happens to be pink and orange, which is a killer, killer lower. Dean River fly. Another one in that same same animal signature series intruder is this purple one and I like the purple one a lot particularly on dark days. So if you got a cloudy day I'm as apt to fish this one as I am the pink one on a sunny day. Another great bright fly particularly in on the sunny days is the pick your pocket. Brian Kite's vaunted pattern which will be found in orange, pink, another great lower river one, and then a black one. And a black one can be a fabulous fly upriver on the Dean, uh, particularly in the mornings or in the afternoons when the shadows begin to come back on the water. Great steelhead pattern. Other large patterns that can have application, particularly in the lower river, would be the Dirk Wiggler, John Hazlett's pattern. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Looks like it's straight out of Vegas. This one's in a pink, purple, which would be a great lower river fly on the Dean. This fly's also got application for kings. Tom Larimer's egg sucking loop leech, the black with the chartreuse head. I, I'd fish this thing without hesitation on the upper Dean, particularly first thing in the morning or again when the shadows come on in the afternoon, generally after 3.30. Now a lot of times on that upper river, you're kind of getting into a steelhead conditions where the fish are more settled into runs, the fish are becoming more like steelhead in that, that their pattern of, of morning activity, uh, evening activity is much more prominent than down below because down below it can be on like Donkey Kong anytime. If they're there, it's on. Well, once they get up river and they get a little more settled in, they tend to act like steelhead again versus lower river tidal gangsters. Okay, and here's a fly that kind of mixes castability with profile and color. And this is Charles St. Pierre's Hobo Spay. Here's a purple one. Here's a black pink one. These are great colors for the Dean. And these flies have got some silhouette, but not an overwhelming silhouette, a little more subdued silhouette. They also work well on smaller rods or in windy conditions when the bigger flies are you're kind of fighting with them versus fishing them. So this can be an excellent kind of mid-range size spay fly. Oftentimes though, particularly after we get out of that morning game where we've got really great opportunity, we're generally going to get some fish hooked by the clients, uh, almost a virtual sure deal in that upper river in the mornings. Sometimes you've got to kind of mold into some smaller stuff. Okay, and here's a more traditional fly. This one's on a uh, tube. It's called the Hobbit. Hobbit Spay Fly. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's from, you might remember the Hobbit from the movie The Hobbit. Okay, there's no ring on here, so there's no danger. But in any event, this is a smaller fly. It's very easy to cast. And this one's in an orange, which is real prawn-like. Here's another one of those guys in a green butt. This fly was tied by Clark Jennings of here in Washington State and is a really great pattern for summer runs everywhere. And we got some more traditional grease line type flies that a guy could fish 
on a sink tip and kind of go a lower profile. This one's called Bennett's Last Light by Michael Bennett. In Orange Summer Run by Brett Wedeking of Issaquah, Washington. This is a really neat fly. This would be a good one. These colors are just can't miss colors on the Dean. A fun traditional fly. This one's from Matt Ramsey. It's just called, for you music fans out there, Try Flash Husker Do. And you take a look at this fly and you instantly think Deschutes River, Oregon. Yep, and you'd fish it there. You sure would. But this would be a great fly to put on the upper Dean. Morning, afternoon, evening. Get some low, clear conditions. This would be a great one. It's got all the colors that one wants. Purple, little chartreuse butt. This is the stuff. And for you dry fly enthusiasts, dries have their place, particularly once those fish get above the falls on the Dean. You've got a real opportunity with dry flies and some of those classic long runs, uh, mornings, evenings, um, fish that, have, that are real calm, that's re always real calm up there because not a lot of, a lot of fishing going on too much in the late evening or at dark because Boo Boo owns the river at that point. Him and Wolfie run things. But here you go. Here's an interesting dry fly. Just a great skater. You know, I can, this thing is tied with a pre-riffle hitch jig head. A first of its kind. You'll love the name. Skunky Cold Medina. And here's Steel Reserve, another fly. These two came from Richard Anderson from Tacoma, Washington. And, and Richard really got creative with using a jig hook so that he could create a pre-riffle hitch dry fly. And of course these come either left or right so you get to buy a couple of them because you don't know what side of the river you're going to be on. But you got to pay attention to that when you tie it on otherwise you might have a little squirreliness going on. But dry flies offer a great opportunity as well. Dean River, one of BC's best, coming up this summer. See you there.